Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, got another unboxing here for you today. Um, bought a new saddle for my Specialized Venge. This is a Fabric Tri Titanium saddle. Uh, comes in this cellophane packaging. Well, that's where it come from. It come in a jiffy bag, but from the place I ordered it. But yeah, comes in this uh, cellophane packing to protect it a bit. Adequate, I guess. Pull that off. So this is the Fabric uh, tri titanium. There's a steel and carbon rail version available. Um, world's most advanced saddles, apparently. It's got quite a pronounced central central channel, um, and it's like one of the latest generation of uh, stubby nosed uh, saddles. So yeah, um, titanium rails, width uh, 132 grams. It's got a flat profile for like aggressive high hip angle positions. It says designed for triathlon and TT, but um, I tend to get in quite a bit, uh, aggressive positions on my Specialized Venge. So I'm hoping this uh, is a bit more comfortable for longer periods of time. Like, yeah, as many of you know, is if you get in that position, you get pressure at the front. Um, so I'm hoping this stubby nose will make it more comfortable. Um, why try? Uh, it says high comfortable. It's got a bottle mount, which I'll show you in a minute, minute, which is removable. Full length pressure relief channel down here, which is kind of a cool looking thing. I think it looks really cool, personally. Um, built in bike hanger. We'll have a look at that. UCI compliant, apparently. Uh, some pictures. Uh, packed full of features designed for performance and comfort. The tri saddle combines low density foam and flap profile and a full length pressure relief channel to promote comfort and ensure peak performance whatever the distance. All right, we'll have a look. Um, so, to remove it from this, I think we just twist and the last fabric saddle I had. Put that to the side. Let's have a look. So, I've got this in a black on black for a stealthy look. Um, you can see here is uh, the attachment in the rear, so you can fit a bottle mount. What I might do with this is I might get a fabric bottle to put on there so you get the post. But fabric also do like a, a tall bottle, so a short stubby bottle with their um, cageless bottle mount system which you can put tubes and tools in. So that might be an interesting option to use this on the back. Um, for now I'm going to remove it and replace, replace this section which I'll do in a tick. Um, yeah, so it looks pretty decent to me. Looks kind of funky. I'll go and put out my bench and show you some photos. I'll take this off first. So this rear section here should be removable with a two and a half Milano key. So let's get that now. I'll probably fast forward this bit in the edit. It might take a little while. Okay, so that's both bolts loose. And this looks like, oh, maybe not quite loose enough. Looks clearly removed. Okay, so that just pops off like that. Then you just have a little divot there. Kind of looks still pretty decent. Let's put this uh, blanket, this looks like a blanket plate to the top here. Let's uh, install that and see what it looks like. So how does this work? I'm assuming this just goes in. Yeah, that's it, it just clips into position there. That's tougher than that, but yeah. That's just clipped in by this like detent and ball and socket. So that's fairly fairly decent. It comes with these two ah these are for the bottle cage. So Ooh. this could be titanium bolts, not sure. Feel pretty light. So these are accessories for the bottle cage here. So that's it, it comes in two bits. Looks interesting, fairly decent. Let's go fit it to the bike and see what it looks like there. So I've just finished fitting the uh, fabric saddle to my bike. I'm just about to head out for my first ride on it. Just thought I'd show you a quick video update. So I don't know, I've got some grease on it there. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I've got it set in its middle position, pretty much dead flat. I think it looks pretty cool on my bench. Very decent. 
with the channel. One thing I have noticed is uh, this foot comes out very easy. If you press on it hard, it doesn't move, but yeah, just like no force holds that in at all. Oh, focus. So that just comes out of the, the lightest of touches, just <laughs> no force. So I'm expecting to lose this pretty quick. She might even just take it off for now. I'm not sure. Actually, yeah, let's leave it off. It's probably gonna fall off. I think if I decide to leave it there, it's gonna be glued. Um, just a quick comparison. Here's my old saddle, the body, body geometry room. So you can see it's quite, compare like for like, it's quite a lot shorter. Put this one under this one just for comparisons. Yeah. Um, right, off for a ride. I'll let you know how it feels. So, review time. Um, I've done a whole bunch of rides on this saddle now, and I can't quite get it to work for me. I don't think it's the shape. So, the shape is fine. I find the shape comfortable. What the big issue is with the saddle is its rigidity. Like the plastic base on this has no flex at all. It's unbelievably stiff and through a quite a stiff bike, the Venge is known to be a pretty harsh ride. This compounds it and makes it, you know, you can do 40 minutes on it okay, but any more on that and it's just uncomfortable as anything. It's get rattled to pieces. Predictably, the rear section here disappeared on the second ride. God knows where that went. Um, completely vanished but yeah for me I've tried it um, flat and nose down and I just can't get it to be comfortable um, like I said the shape is actually fine um, the pressure groove seems okay no issues there it's just pure rigidity of the, the shell I think and I can't quite understand how the time trialists would enjoy the saddle with it being so rigid on, you know, time trial bikes are pretty, pretty aero and rigid. So for me, I think this is a, a hard pass. Um, it's fairly light and, you know, it looks cool and funky, but I gotta say, you know, everybody's individual, but for me, this has been one of the worst saddles I've tried in a long time. I'm mean, generally, generally pretty good. Uh, it's really hard to demonstrate how rigid the shell is on this saddle but I think that's where it all comes down to so in conclusion that's where I'm gonna leave it I'm putting it to one side I've bought something new you'll find a, a video on that in the not too distant future but unfortunately the fabric try has got to go okay thanks for watching this video and review and I'll uh, see you in the next one goodbye